Hello there! I wasn't really planning to make this video, but here we are. Some of you guys have told me that uh, Debian Unstable was supposed to be a better choice for me and instead of, you know, switching to Arch Linux. And, you know, Arch Linux is a rolling distribution and Debian SID is a rolling distribution. I mean, it's not, but some of you guys told me that it can be used as a rolling distribution. But I, I don't know. If you go to the Debian website, you will see what it really is. It's it's clearly uh, written here. Uh, so the unstable is where development takes place and this is where all the new packages are uploaded. Security updates are not even applied by the security team but just uh, from the package maintainer. And who can be the package maintainer? Well, basically it can be me. It can be anyone. I mean, it can be anyone with enough goodwill to do uh, according to their best practices and you don't really have to be a security expert in order to maintain packages on I guess any distribution but the fact that Debian uh, security team is not even participating in this unless really necessary and really necessary in this case is if the package maintainer has been absent for way too long and some uh, action is really really needed they will jump in but that's kind of rare and you know the the reason uh, why I didn't even consider Debian is uh, I mean Debian unstable is because I have had experiences with it previously and previously I have had it broken oh so many times so if we go back to this description here okay so uh, not strictly a release, but rather a rolling development version of Debian distribution containing the latest packages. One other thing that bothered me with Debian Unstable was the fact that uh, the maintainers need to upload their packages and compile them against some libraries. And if this library is uh, having uh, an ongoing transition to a newer version, and I mean a really newer version, this sometimes causes breakages uh, and you're having a, a shit show. Anyways, bad words aside, I have actually decided to give Sid a try, a new try, if you will, and I need a fresh experience so I can say something about it. So the idea behind my whole transition to Arch was behind a couple of decisions that Debian Stable could not uh, provide for me. So one of these things was the fact that they have uh, decided to ship uh, the long-term support version of uh, KD and that was uh, 5.27 I think it's even written here yes 5.27 this is a long-term support release uh, from this date onwards they uh, provide 18 months of support which are not yet um, cleared so it's still uh, in the supported phase. Uh, in my opinion this package uh, these, these packages should not have been stuck on version 5.27.5 in Debian stable but instead they should have been updated to the patched version which is dot 11. So all things considered uh, it is what it is I have now installed Debian SID and the idea was to feel uh, how it is to use Debian but in some kind of a rolling uh, wannabe manner because I tell you it's not a rolling distribution it's just a testing development ground but here we are I have installed it and let's give it a go so one of the things that bothered me like from the get-go is that I have installed it 
I have actually installed the uh, stable distribution uh, minimal packages and then upgraded to uh, unstable and then I started installing Plasma Desktop because I wanted to see how it feels against something that's naturally uh, rolling such as Arch Linux and you know how this text is flying uh, upwards very fast when you're installing a huge amount of packages and somewhere in between those lines I saw something like 5.27 it can't be. Yes, it can. So the latest and greatest Debian rolling distribution, which is not really rolling, has exactly the version of the package that is supposed to be in stable, not unstable. Because if you go to uh, Wikipedia to just check out the Plasma versions, and if you go to version 6, so the latest version is 6.1. And if you go back to uh, Seed and Stable, you can see that they are shipping something that I would call really stable. And I mean the latest patch for the long-term support version. This whole thing kind of... Um, I don't know what to say. I mean, the whole experiment that I was going to do kind of falls into the water now because... Um, what I wanted to compare was the feeling of using Debian Arch, uh, which is a genuinely rolling distribution against something that could be used as a rolling distribution uh, with a little bit, bit uh, with, with being a little bit more careful, right? Because uh, if you just blindly accept uh, all of the um, upgrades that Debian proposes, sometimes you will end up uh, uninstalling half of your system. And that's how Debian Seed works. You have to read what it says and postpone some upgrades uh, until later time uh, because not all the packages are in sync between maintainers, between libraries, between uh, programs that compile against these libraries. You know, you have, you have to be a little bit more careful with than with the actual um, rolling distribution. So this kind of... Uh, so this thing kind of freaked me out and really I don't know, I don't know what, what to do now. I wanted to do this kind of experiment and I don't think it's worth it. I really don't. I think Debian as a distribution is fantastic overall. It's fantastic. I love it. it I, I'm a fan of Debian actually. And um, why I removed it? Because I want to see what's out there basically. I want to get more experience, I want to get more opinions, personal ones, not yours, and I want to talk about it, I want to, to give you my experiences, I want uh, people who are in search of uh, experiences and opinions to have uh, another person on the internet to listen to if they so desire, and you know, uh, this whole um, SID experiment, I don't think it's worth it. That's pretty much it for me uh, from today and I'm going to see you in the next video.